Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So today I'm going to show you how to install this pretty cool Knight Rider looking all LED taillight for your Primavera Sprint. Uh, in Europe, this will fit pretty much all the models. For North America, you're going to need to have a 2018 or newer model. It is possible to install it on the 2015 to 2017 models, but you will need to modify the connections. Um, completely doable, pretty easy, only three, three electrical connections, but you'll need to make some special uh, splices to tie into the taillight circuitry on those 2015 through 2017 North American sprints and Primaveras. And it's both with the 50cc and the 150. And if you have Electrica, it fits as well. So those are 2020 and newer. So we have this new trick taillight. It's got a slightly smoked lens. It's got these really cool light bars. Of course, it's not in full effect until we get it powered up. And it's got the all popular black bezel, like a matte finish black bezel. And on the back side, all the clips are already factory installed, unlike some of the other aftermarket taillights we've had. Um, so you pretty much pop the old one out, plug it in, and then pretty much you're playing. You're good to go. Uh, one other option is this bezel is the same as the LED taillight on the stock one. So if you want to go chrome, I think you could swap the bezels between uh, your stock factory taillight. So pretty much you get this whole taillight kit in this beautiful box. Let's jump right to it. I'm going to show you how to change this out and I want to get powered up so you can see how it so looks. So the first and most difficult step of this whole process is removing the single screw that's from the center most portion of the taillight, right in the center. So there's a screw that goes right into here. It does have a thumb nut so you can use your um, fingers to unscrew it. If you watch my recent video on how to change an air filter to kind of cover how those work. Uh, you're going to need a T25 Torx driver on like kind of a little small ratchet. Uh, there's other ways to do it. And just like doing uh, blind surgery right here, you just got to feel your way around and you're going to feel something that feels like a volume knob on an old radio. And in the center of that is where you can put your uh, ratchet. And after you loosen a couple turns, you can ditch the ratchet and spin it off all by hand. So of course the camera's not getting this, but I'll show you what will drop out after a couple turns. So you have this thumb nut. It also has a spring washer in there, so keep that in mind. If you see something else fall off, there's also a spring washer with it. So the next part is we're gonna pop the original taillight off. Um, and if you have the 2015 through 2017, they have the larger size taillight, but they all mount exactly the same. I would recommend protecting the paint around the taillight. You can use painter's masking tape because you will put a lot of force and tip the taillight up and so it's possible to chip the paint. So something like this, just take some uh, tape. It's always handy to have this in the service department. Whether you're writing notes on it or you're using it to protect something as you're um, you know, taking something apart or reassembling, it's real handy to have. So, just something like that. Put some tape up there and get your fingers under the taillight. You could use the, the, the tool, the pry tools I use frequently, that works as well. So the two tabs I'm pulling away from the frame are up at the top. So you know, I kind of lifted it. I can get my fingers under from the back, but then you want to pull from the top because there's these two tabs that make contact with the frame. So once you have the taillight removed, you're going to have two connectors. You have this black seal connector and you're going to need to lift this tab and pull the connectors away, separate them. And then you have the brake light, or I think this is the taillight connection right here. And is what you do is there's a little tab in the middle and you push it with your nail and then you could separate the connector right like that. So just to show you the two taillights, they're very similar in construction. They have the four screws holding the trim ring on. Uh, the connectors are a little different between the two, but they do the same functions. So before you put the new taillight on, it's a perfect time to kind of clean the frame. You know, take some type of spray polish and just kind of buff 
the paint finish around here to clean it all up. Obviously you have some spot welds, the new taillight's gonna cover those uh, just fine. And now you have the, the pair of connections, pretty much the reverse steps, the black larger connection. It can only be installed one direction, so if you're fighting with it, just flip it 180 and you'll be able to get it right in. Um, and with this taillight, you do need to kind of tuck the connections up at the top, up there, because they could be in the way of the, um, the mounting screw. And just give it a little, little tap and it should just snap right into place. And you could take your thumb screw and put that back. And, and typically you don't even need to use the tool to tighten it. Just tighten as tight as you can get it by hand and that's more than adequate. So after several turns, you get this thing in there and that's, that's as tight as you need to have it. So at this point, you can remove the, the, the tape. And if you do still have a little bit of line up here, you could take the taillight off and buff around your taillight with some compound. But now let's check out the fun part. So check this out. So right when you power it up, it does this little sequence that's pretty cool. That's why I call it the Knight Rider light. Kind of pulsates and does some little motions. Looks pretty cool. Uh, they're very futuristic looking light bars in there. And then when you pull the brakes, you get the, the extra set of light bars that light up. So very, very cool. I'll power it up one more time because it's always fun to check it out. And that's pretty much the trickiest taillight you can get for your Primavera and Sprint. And of course, when you have it off, it kind of blends in with the body. It's not too tinted where it just looks like a black hole, but it's got like a light tint. You can see that's got some fun stuff going on inside. So thanks for watching. This is a nice, simple modification that's easy to install on your Primavera Sprint, uh, pretty much a 2018 and later. So if you have a 2021 Electrica, a 50cc, 150, a 125, it all fits. So of course the best part is putting on the light show, the end of the video here. Oh yeah, there's our light show. Until next time, Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and Scooter West.